energy conversion devices did not have a great quarter, but Brian Eschenberger Breakout Stock still likes the product that it has. Right, Brian? What they offer is a really neat technology. They have this really thin, um, lightweight solar cell that they actually integrate onto roofing products. So the product, the product is great, but this is a case where even though the product is great, the stock is not. Um, we need to distinguish between those two. So they, they had a light, a weak first quarter, and they pulled their guidance for fiscal year 2010 on the call. Um, demand for their products is light, with commercial roofing not particularly healthy, not th throwing up a lot of new buildings right now, mm -hmm. and you're certainly not uh, putting on a new roof if you can avoid it. Um, solar in general, as we know, has been weak. Pricing is weak. Uh, so the company's fundamentals right now are not very good. But I have heard about this product, and it is supposed to be amazing, that instead of putting these huge, heavy solar panels on your roof, it's integrated within the building product itself, and so it's lightweight and still gets the same efficiency. That's right. You can actually put it on a flat roof, which is a big deal for a lot of these warehouses. They, usually the, their roofs are not built to support the weight of the typical solar cell. So the product is really, like I said, great. But the company right now, they ran the quarter, they, they produced a lot. Um, so actually, the finished goods has more than doubled quarter over quarter. So they're sitting on a lot of inventory. It's not a very healthy place. The risk-reward outlook for the stock right now still warrants enough caution to stay away from it. Okay, so this stock was in breakout stocks. You got out of it. Why are we talking about it still? We talk about it because I think it's a good example of, of a company that we continue to watch because the technology could really eventually become something that would break out, but at the same time, the stock isn't. So we're watching it, we continue to watch it, and uh, it's a good lesson that you can't confuse a good story for a good stock. Okay, great to know. Thank you, Brian, and I'm Deborah for TheStreet.com.